For nearly the last century, Wolf's Barbecue has served Evansville, and now that chapter has come to an end. Before the restaurant's doors closed for the last time today, customers came in to grab their last takeout orders. Eyewitness News' Ben Walls paid a visit to Wolf's and talked with those who will miss the restaurant dearly. If you could describe Wolf's in three words or less, how would you say it? Yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> Very good food. I can't do it in three words, but I can do it in four. Best barbecue in town. And wonderful, friendly, and enjoyable. The most tasteful barbecue I've ever had. Saturday marks a bittersweet day for Wolf's customers. Those who spent birthdays, holidays, anniversaries, and other important meals with their families and friends for decades lined up to take home the last of Wolf's famous ribs, pulled pork, barbecued chicken, lemon meringue pies, and coconut cream pies. This is the last real barbecue house in Evansville uh, that made barbecue this way. So, you know, it's going to be missed greatly. You can tell by the line inside there. We've been waiting for about two hours, but it's well worth it. Some people who visited Wolf's for the last time say they have great memories, like Greg Claspel, who came to Wolf's on Sundays for the buffet with his parents. They probably did that for a number of years, and then we've been coming out here ever since then. So it's some wonderful food. I hate to see them leave the area because you don't even have to go all the way to Owensboro to get anything that matches this. Or Donnie and Sandy Turpin, who are married and first met each other while working for Wolf's in the 80s. Uh, she was trying to get out early, <laughs> and she needed the mop bucket. So I had my mop bucket, and she wanted it, and I said, well, if you go out with me, uh, I'll let you have my mop bucket. So she took the mop bucket, we went out, and uh, about 40 years later, here we are today. Though another chapter ends at Wolf's, customers who stop by today say this is a great opportunity for them to continue supporting small businesses. We definitely wanted to support their closing um, with, you know, the last Christmas dinner being from Wolf's, you know, just to let them know that the community backs them for retirement. I was trained by very good people. I had Kim, the owner now, she was one of the owners. Uh, Nick Wolf, Mr. Wolf was even here at the time. Just support your local places as much as you can so we can keep yeah. them around for 97 years. <laughs> Reporting in Evansville, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.